In order to decide upon the facility layout, uh, in order to decide upon the facility layout, there are several methods. The, but clearly, the weight distance method and the center of gravity method and facility location based on the minimum, on the least cost method is are used for facility location. Why the load distance method is used for facility layout? Facility location decide on about the area where to place the building, where to place the plant. While facility layout is within the building, how to distribute, how to lay out the whole department. Okay, so we have the load distance summation of the load times the distance. Let's consider the first example we have. Facility layout optimization load distance method. Okay, so we have the current layout. So within a manufacturing plant, we have four departments. The department current they are placed as 4, 3, 2, 1, as we see here in the current layout. Why the proposed layout is 1, 2, 3, 4 is different building. And we want to place the four department as a current layout and the proposed layout. And we want to evaluate, to assess how good it is this layout okay so one of the method is a load distance method load distance method if the, the load which is the number of trips or number of units move between departments and the distance he is the distance between the walking distance between department using rectilinear you go horizontal or vertical or using Euclidean you go across so we're trying to so the departments that have the maximum or high number of flow we try to minimize it or to place the department as adjacent to uh, to each other as possible so here we have the flow which is the number of units move between department 1 and 2, department 1 and 3, department 1 and 4, department 2 and 3 is 5 units, department 2 and 10 is 10 units, okay? Same for department 4 to 1 is the same as department 1 to 4. So I write down the load, the current layout distance between department 1 and 2 using rectilinear is 1, moving from 1 to 2 is a horizontal or vertical, so it's 1, and 1 and 3 is 1 and 1 and 4 so it's like 1 2 or 1 to the left and up so it's 2 and the same for the other and we multiplied load times distance so 25 times 1 25 35 times 1 35 5 times 2 10 5 times 2 10 10 times 1 10 times 1 20 and the total of 110 for the proposed layout 1 2 3 4 so the distance between 1 and 2 is 1 the distance between 1 and 3 is 2 so it's like 1 and 2, 1, 2. The distance between 1 and 4 is so 1, 2, 3. Okay, the distance between 2 and 3 is 1, the distance between 2 and 4 is 2, and the distance between 3 and 4 is 1. If we multiply the load times the distance, the load distance for the proposed layout, so it's 25 times 1, 25, 35 times 2, 70, 5 times 3, 15, 5 times 1, 5, 10 times 2, 20, and 20 times 1, 20. So we have 20, 40, 45, 60, 130, 155. Clearly, the current layout is much better than the proposed layout. So in case we want to do another proposed, if we want to change this proposed plan, so we just go for the shading. I'm just, I'm just going to put it back as it was before. So we have here, I'm going to just, okay, so 1, 2, 4, 3, okay, and I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to delete this and see what's a good value. So in this example, we have 1, 3, and 2, they have the highest load, so it's better to place them one next to the each other. So we placed 1, 3, 2, 4, okay, so it will be 1, 2, so as well we have to change those, so here it will be 2, 4, so 1, 2 is 25, distance of 1, and 1 is 3 is 35, distance of 1, one four distance of two to three distance of two two four distance of one and three four distance of one. If you multiply it by the load, it will be twenty five times one twenty five, thirty five times one thirty five, five times two ten, five times two ten, ten times one ten, and twenty times one is twenty. So it will be thirty, forty, fifty, fifty, eighty five, one hundred and ten. Clearly, both they have the same. Uh, 
importance, the same value. Both are as good as each other, depend on the low distance method. Okay, 